The rumors are true. <laughs> Not many rumors, actually. We did get in. They whacked the ball, came <laughs> right towards, towards me. You didn't get that, did you? All right, no. It was $55 yeah. per person. Yeah. I don't think so. No. What the heck are we doing out here? Is this Palm Springs? These guys are just a bunch of pigs. She's not real happy about that. No, I am not. Sandra's got a camera <laughs> shooting wildlife. We decided to do something different. We're going to take in the sport of kings. Are you even excited? move on, walk right Welcome everyone. We're here in Palm Springs. Sunny Palm Springs. It's so nice. <laughs> the rumors are true. <laughs> Not many rumors actually. We did get in. Yes. We were definitely worried. We were. About getting into this park. Mm -hmm. uh, we love the park. Mm -hmm. We just hate getting into the park. Right, but we're here, <laughs> we're here for the next two weeks so we can just relax and have some fun. Oh and... yeah get some projects done. Definitely some projects, because yeah. man, we were what, 31 days you figured out of yeah. boondocking? But not, yeah, and I've got to do just some, just caught, catch up from laundry, just only for two weeks. And then, um, you know, just, I've got to clean out the drains and all that stuff. And fortunately, because the weather's been so nice, um, we didn't have to open up the windows or anything while we were boondocking in yeah. Quartzsite or in Yuma, so I really don't have any cleaning to do, so that's really nice. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of dust at all. No, and there's a couple of days it was warm, but we're able to run our air conditioners off of, um, off of solar, which helps here because we only have 30 amp service. That's right. And we're able to run the air conditioners, the dryer. I mean, we can run everything off the 30 amps, so that's no big deal. That's right. Everyone's pretty amazed, actually, when they come by and, and they say, man, it's it's hot and we're not sure what we can do with 30 amps. We're like, yeah, we're just running everything. Our air yeah, conditioner, we're, we're, we're fine. Okay, so that's <laughs> good. But we're gonna do some new things here in Palm Springs. Yeah. We've been here, this is like our fourth or fifth time. Fourth, I fourth think, time. yeah. And so we've done some other things mm -hmm. while we've been in Palm Springs and, and that's in another video and I'll, yeah. I'll link that here. Somewhere. There. I'll link it somewhere. It was magic. <laughs> <laughs> and, but we're going to do some different things this trip mm -hmm. because, well, this is a different kind of a trip this year it for is. us. So we're going to do some different things. Yeah. And there's just so much to do in Palm Springs. <gasps> I mean, it's wow. incredible. So the first trip we came here, we just made a whole laundry list of stuff we wanted to do and we didn't get it all done. So every time we come here, we, we kind of go back to our favorite things like the Village Fest on Thursday nights. And then we just start clicking off some other things. And then as you get to meet people and get to know some of the locals, oh, yeah. then you learn about more stuff. Yeah, so, and they say, oh, did you try this or did you go here? Yeah, so it's like never ending. The list keeps expanding. <laughs> yeah. But so we're gonna do a few things and bring you guys along, let you see kind of how we do Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. So far, the weather's been beautiful and it looks like we're gonna have really a nice two weeks here. Short sleeve shirt. <laughs> That's right, mm -hmm. mark it down on the calendar. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. We might be in Palm Springs for a couple of weeks, but I've still got projects, I've still got some chores. And I've been putting this one off for a while. I've got to do some terminal cleaning on our lithium battery bank. Ugh. Yeah, I've been like procrastinating for months. All right, I've got a ratchet and it's non-metal. I've learned in my bag of tools I gotta get this rack out of the way and then I'll start cleaning. Some maintenance. The new style now are 
enclosed, sealed, which is nice. These prismatics, uh, five years old, are not. So I've got to do a little cleaning, but I've got non-metallic ratchets. And uh, so it's just a matter of undoing some of these screws and bolts and cleaning underneath it. We finally had a couple of minutes and this is David. He is installing his new toy that he got at the Quartzsite RV show. Installing your new toy. Well, I don't know if it's a toy. It's a helpful a, tool? Huh? A tool? Kind of a tool, I guess. <laughs> It, uh, yeah, the awning stabilizers. Oh. So, I'm not sure if it's a tool or a toy or a, I don't know. Maybe Make life easier. Yeah. When we do a lot of boondocking, we're obviously in major conservation mode. And in doing so, we don't use a lot of water to like brush our teeth. We don't just let it run. Um, rinsing our, you know, soap, shampoo, it, we just use just enough um, to rinse off. But we don't use all that extra water to uh, really rinse out the plumbing and the pipes. And that builds up and it gets pretty nasty sometimes. So we learn to little trick from a plumber and he said the best way to clean out your pipes not Drano and especially in an RV even though everything we have is residential um, baking soda and vinegar so I use one part baking soda to like four parts vinegar or so so um, in the sinks I'll use about a quarter cup baking soda to about a cup of vinegar and then in the uh, shower <laughs> remember where I was at so in the shower I'll use about a half cup or plus heaping half cup of baking soda and then I'll just continue to slowly pour the vinegar in until all the bubbling goes away and then what happens is that agitation is what and the the acidity from the baking uh, from vinegar it actually turns up and kind of scrubs the pipes a little bit and then when I do then after that I'll just do a really good rinse with super hot water and that does a great job and not only on the shower but then also on the bathroom sinks and then in the kitchen sink as well so just something we like to do after an extended period of boondocking so I like to use my all-purpose uh, water pitcher here that we use quite a bit for boondocking to capture water from the shower but what I'll do is I'll fill it with about halfway with pretty warm water and then I'll fill it the rest of the way with a pot of boiling water and I don't want to use just all scalding water in the pipes because I'm afraid that it may expand and, and break a pipe or something so but um, it's just good to use really really hot water taking a break from some projects mm -hmm. all work and no play well that's just no fun no <laughs> so we're going to check out one of our favorite places in Palm Springs. The zoo. Yeah, the or Living, the living desert, desert Museum. Museum or zoo or something like that. Yeah, but we it know has they Living have, Desert in there. Yeah, they don't have otters though. <laughs> no, we know that. <laughs> we asked. But that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to head to the zoo and uh, see what they've got. I heard they have a baby giraffe. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in Palm Springs. This thing's leaking all over the place. And Sandra Hold sprung on. a leak. <laughs> she sprung a leak again. She's always springing a leak. This is just so weird. Well, it's not so weird when it pees all over you all the time, and I don't understand why. I've got this darn thing screwed on tight and pushed down all the way it's defective i probably didn't <laughs> help that i busted it on the uh, well, bike fall that's true too all right and we're in the desert how can she spring a leak in the desert all right we're 
eventually we'll make it into the uh, zoo, Living Desert Zoo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She's definitely, yeah, she's trying to break it now. No, but I love this cup. Yeah. And by the way, that's probably going in. I have to beep some things out. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. Got our tickets. We're in the zoo, and unfortunately, they have stopped printing paper maps. So Sandra's got to take a picture and then print it for her journal. She's not real happy about that. No, I am not. What's up with this paperless society? I don't know, something about being good for the environment. I don't know. Well, maybe they should sell them like as a souvenir, you know, print them out. Some <laughs> That's true. You'd buy them. Still like paper tactile things. That's true. All right, let's see what jungle wonders await us in the desert. So Sandra just mentioned, we came into this area, that she said she smells something, you know, like kind of bad. Well, of course, these guys are just a bunch of pigs. <laughs> yeah. oh. I think I just lost my audience. Most animals that Sandra takes a picture of actually turn around and they show their rear end, right? She gets a lot of butt pictures. Oh, yeah. But the zebra actually works out pretty good when it does it that. It does, that's right. I actually want the zebra's butt. Because that's right. supposedly zebra, not supposedly, but zebra's butts are perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. And what's really sad, why do zoos do this? They put the cheetah right next to the zebras. Oh that's, yeah. That's mean. That's cruel. That is. <laughs> Good day, mate. We're heading to Australia. Antarctica is the largest desert in the world. Not all deserts need to be hot. <laughs> the inner door closes. This shall open. We hope. It will. Will it? Have faith. 
Oh yes. <laughs> it's magic. Nice. <laughs> so it was a nice day at the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens. Mm -hmm. And then I was just taking a picture of the bag, kind of like this artistic kind of a feeling. But Sandra wants to show her stickers. <laughs> and these go on the outside of my journal. So yeah. In. And my memory spread. Yeah. So it was a great day. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So we're going to head back uh, home because yeah. I'm hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday night, Palm Springs. We're going to Village Fest. Pretty well, you cool. You just want your raisins. That's true. I just want my golden flame raisins. Let's go. All right, so what's better than Village Fest in Palm Springs? Parking for free oh, yeah. at Village Fest in Palm and we got Springs. got a great spot, just, you know, not even a hundred yards away. Yeah, so we're at one end, we'll walk to the other, come back around on the other side, and we don't have to backtrack. Yay! Oh yeah! And we made it to the food first. <laughs> That's important, because I'm hungry. Me too, let's go. Let's do it. So any guesses what David got? And the first two don't count. No, not Whataburger or in and out No. Next best thing. But it's close. It's a burger cooked out here on the grill. Yeah. They close off the main street in downtown Palm Springs and 
line it with vendors and food trucks and all kinds of other stuff. Plus the uh, regular stores are still open. So it's uh, very lively. They've got bands and uh, all kinds of uh, other uh, things that you don't need and want to buy. But it's really cool. Every Thursday, uh, downtown Palm Springs does this uh, in the winter time and it's, uh, it's really neat. Sticker Central right here in Palm Springs. Another nice day in Palm Springs. We're going to get on the bikes and ride around a couple of the neighborhoods and just the area. It's really cool. But first, I gotta take them down. <laughs> Bikes are done. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna take the bike carrier off of the trailer and put it on the smart car like we designed it with the new hitch. First time we're doing it, we're gonna check it out, see how it does. Boy, that thing did not move at all. Nice. I mean, at all. Unlike the other one. Yeah. You can bring the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, today's an exercise day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just signing up for that. Voila! There it is. Woo! Let's go get packed up. Get the batteries. Yep. Right. Got to go. Another cool feature is this back hatch opens and it doesn't touch the bikes oh yeah free parking and in the shade it doesn't get much better no, than that no it sure doesn't all right well our bike rack did awesome we went over a lot of huge speed bumps and what's really nice is we did not have to strap the bikes down now they did wobble a little bit, but they didn't sway and hit the car, which was really nice. So how much do those batteries weigh? Uh, yeah, each one's probably about 10 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, mine's about 10 pounds. I think yours is like 12. <laughs> well, I do have a heftier bike. Yes, you do. Extra suspension. And I charged it, so I crammed it full last night. Okay, good. So it's going to be nice and heavy. Yes. So I don't know if anybody noticed that my handlebars look kind of weird. And that's because David had to put them on backwards. So normally this whole thing flips around, but I like to be able to sit straight up. So this pulls the handlebars further back so I can sit up. Yeah, it's weird. Our bikes are ready. We're ready to roll and this is kind of exciting and a little bit geeky because we've wanted to ride the neighborhoods yeah. in Palm Springs before. So we're actually going to do it today. Weather's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. And so, look, I have short sleeves. Short sleeves on, I yeah. I jeans, but I'm getting ready to put my jacket on if we don't get out of this cold parking garage. Really? So we're uh, going to head on to check out some really cool retro modernist yeah. houses. And this is Modernism Week here in Palm Springs. So yeah. They're really promoting the modernism art, so that's really neat. That's right. So let's hit the road. David is uh, <laughs> pairing up our helmets. Some can whisper into each other's ears, little sweet nothings. <laughs> and I've entered my PIN number on my bike so I can work it. <laughs> So much what for is low this? tech, right? Oh, yeah, what is this world coming to? Oh, and look, I love oh, this wow. little satchel bag. Thanks. Um, so not only does it have the compartment in here, but it has these two little like saddle bags on either side that zip up. So that's what it looks like zipped up, and this is what it looks like completely out because I do have to carry my uh, my jacket with me. Under your wing, everything. It's all right Nothing ever will be quite the same
Partway on our bike tour of the neighborhoods up here in our Palm Springs, our free tour, we uh, happened across the supposed Elvis Presley honeymoon suite house. Okay. And they now call it the House of Tomorrow. And there were people outside, which is the first time in years we've yeah. seen that. It's four years ago, we, we saw it on we did one of those, you know, Hollywood tour bus things. Yeah. And then two years ago we came and it was all condemned and fenced in. Really? So today there's people walking around and actually going inside. And so we asked them and they're giving tours. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they were pretty proud of the house tour. Oh yeah. And the renovations that they've done. It was $55 yeah. per person. Yeah, I'm thinking no. I don't think so. No. Oops. Uh oh. Good thing it's a helmet and it's made to crash. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head on. <laughs> Under your wing, everything is alright. Nothing ever will be quite the same. And I wouldn't say that it's been a hard time. Nice end uh, to the day. I take a nap. <laughs> if I took naps. Yeah, so we finished our bike ride and that was nice. Walked around downtown a little bit. And then we had lunch. That was good. It wasn't a Whataburger. It wasn't a Whataburger. But he had a burger. But it was a burger. It was a wasabi uh, burger? But it was a Wagyu burger. Wagyu burger. Yeah, and it was uh like with blue cheese on it yep. that's yummy all right we're gonna head home and call it a day i think yeah i got a date night tonight oh that's right our daughter is gonna call uh sandra and they're gonna do a little boo showing yes <laughs> What the heck are we doing out here? Is this Palm Springs? Yes. <laughs> Sandra's got a camera <laughs> shooting wildlife. We decided to do something different. We're going to take in the sport of kings. Yes. That's right. <laughs> I've got my polo shirt on. We're dressed up in non-t-shirt attire. Mm. We're going to take in a polo match yeah, in never, Palm Springs. We've never done that before. No. And one of the um, friends of the channel came by the our campsite the other day and suggested this. That's right. So thank you very much, Lisa. We're really <laughs> looking forward to it. So we're going to check out the polo matches here. Uh, it's a huge facility. It's Huge. got a lot of green grass, probably the most in the Coachella Valley. Probably the most in California. <laughs> probably. And we're going to watch uh, polo matches mm -hmm. and maybe get out on the, on the, um, 
field? They don't call it the field. They call it the pitch. That's right. How we're going to we're going to get out on the pitch in between the chuckers and we're going to stomp some divots. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So we're going to have a nice lunch here uh, while viewing a polo match. It's a gorgeous view. Oh, it's a beautiful view. Beautiful day. Uh, this is really going to be nice. You know, the food could be crappy. We're not going to realize it because the view is just, the setting is phenomenal. But the menu looks really tasty. Yeah, I'm going to get something different that I've never had before. <laughs> That's kind of a theme for this trip this year. Big opportunity here for Sprung. He was there before. Got an opportunity here to put it toward the goal. He's about 35 yards away. Shot is going to move up. Be very, very close. And that one is wide. Look at you! Okay, so in trying to get a nice shot in a nice area, they whacked the ball, came <laughs> right towards, towards me. You. Oh yeah! So I just, my cat-like reflexes, I dodged it. It was pretty easy. <laughs> and uh, went up into the bushes and I found it and here it is. And so you get to keep it. I get to keep it. Well, yeah. that won't go in the bougie very well. <laughs> no, not very well. But it's made by Texas Polo. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. But so these start it. out, these start out round and then obviously with uh, as many wax as they get, uh, it gets not round. That's what he has to do. No. <laughs> it's, it's light, but it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's all plastic, 100% plastic. It used to be made out of wood, but those break so much easier. How so. do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I get paid to know this kind of stuff just because of things like this that happen to me. <laughs> right, the rumors are true. I can play well with others. I just gave my ball to a stranger. <laughs> yeah. So he seemed really interested when I got the ball. Yeah. Uh, and he because was trying it, to help you find it. Well, he was, and, and he wanted to show it to his friends. So I went ahead and just gave it to him. Yeah. Because we don't need it. Yeah, and he seemed like he had much more interest in it than I did. <laughs> but it was cool to almost get hit by it. <laughs> I don't know how cool that would have been. <laughs> All right, so our day is done at the Polo Grounds. A uh, very cool uh, event. It was a neat experience. Yeah. Uh, again, we, we keep, we like to dip our toes in all these different subcultures. And um, this this was one we hadn't done before. It was really cool. Yeah, and the setting, of course, is gorgeous. Oh, this is gorgeous. I mean, the, the greens, the mountains. The, just beautiful. The palm trees. Oh, just yeah. Just wonderful. I mean, oh, it's gorgeous. And the weather today was... Oh. Spectacular. Oh, look, look, look. What? Look, go, go show everybody. I'm wearing what? shorts and a t shirt. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you get my legs too? See, I do have legs. <laughs> That's <laughs> <too> right. Close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shorts. Short sleeve. Short sleeve. Hey. Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Mm -hmm. So, great day. We're going to head back. On our way back from the polo match, mm -hmm. of course, we pass a Hobby Lobby. We're in civilization. Mm -hmm. Sondra wants to go in and check a few things out. So that's no surprise, right, folks? That's, yeah, I need some stickers for my polo right, spread. No surprise at all. But I will give you a little bit of a, of a hint here on Hobby Lobby actually isn't bad for guys. And, and I'll tell you why. So first off, if you have to go to the bathroom while you're out and, you, and you're in Hobby Lobby, there's never a wait in the guys because generally speaking, you're the only one in there. <laughs> okay. The other good tip on a Hobby Lobby is they've got actually a good selection of t-shirts. Oh, yes. And, obsessed with and they're like $2.99 after they're 30% off, which they're always 30% off. So they're like always $2.99. And we're in California, they're still $2.99. That's even a better deal than the $2.99 in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
Hobby Lobbies can be okay for guys. One of these days, I just need to put a camera <laughs> behind the scenes because I have no idea what you're about to say. It just always freaks me out. It's like, oh Lord, what is he going to say? All right, on, on the way, <laughs> timing was just beautiful.